In this Swift UI video tutorial, we're going to build a project called iDyne. Here it is running in the iOS simulator. As you can see, we have a scrolling list of items on a menu, broken up into categories like breakfast, mains, dessert, and drinks. When you choose one of these things, like maple French toast, a new screen slides in with a larger picture of that thing, plus photo credit, description, and an order this button. I'm gonna order some maple French toast, and I'll also order Let's say a uh, superfood salad. There we go. Boom. When you're ready, you can go to the order tab down here to see the items you've chosen. There's an edit button so you can delete items you don't want, or you can just swipe to delete. And finally, go to this place order screen. Uh, choose what you want to pay. I'll say I want to pay with credit card. Uh, add a loyalty card number if you want to. I'll say I have the ID 12345. And add some sort of tip. And finally, press confirm order to see an alert saying it's all done. So that's the app we're going to build. To get started, go into Xcode 11, then choose create a new Xcode project. Choose iOS single view app and press next. Name this thing iDyne. And for UI, please choose Swift UI and not Storyboard. Otherwise, the rest of these videos will be very confusing indeed. Now press next and save on your desktop. Now to make this project work, I've given you a selection of assets to download from my website at hackingwithswift.com slash samples slash iodine.zip. I have them already on my desktop here in this assets folder. We're gonna drag them in particular places. First up is helper.swift. You wanna grab that file and drag it into the project navigator somewhere. Then choose copy items, create groups, and add target like that. That thing contains a simple extension to make loading JSON from a bundle easier. That's it right there. I'm not gonna talk about it too much here. It's all pre iOS 13, so it's not really for this tutorial. Next up, we have order.swift and menu.swift. Let's drag those into here as well. Finish. And you'll see these are fairly simple types. So we have an order is an array of menu items has a total property, you can add things and remove things. And the menu item is a, a section of items like breakfast mains uh, and dinner and so forth. Uh, breakfast and dessert, sorry. And then items have IDs, names, credits, prices, descriptions, plus a main image and a thumbnail image and some example down here. So there's not a lot going on there. It's just pure data so we can work with something in our application. Then I'm going to add menu.json. Drag that one in. This describes the menu we'll be showing in our app. So you'll see here we have breakfast has maple French toast, stack of pancakes, power muesli, and so forth. And eventually after that, we get mains and so forth like that. And finally, I'd like to look in this image directory here. There are lots of pictures of all the uh, different kinds of foods and drinks on our menu. I want to go ahead into that directory and just command A the whole thing. Select everything in there. Then in your asset catalog, in your project, just go ahead and drag all those things into your asset catalog. That'll give you all the pictures we need. Okay, that's it. We're ready to go.